Hi, Stefan Smith from Art Smith Craftworks. It's, uh, it's been quite a while since I actually shot a video uh, of anything, so I apologize for that. But uh, what I'd like to show you on this chilly December evening is how I put together a, a propeller for a more Victorian looking uh, steampunk airship that I'm working on right now. So uh, let's have a look. So I apologize for how messy my uh, tabletop looks and to be honest most of the time it, it looks the mess that you see in front of you. But what I will do for just a standard Victorian looking propeller is I, is I start with one of these just wooden wheels I and mean, you can get them in practically any craft store. I happen to get a giant bag of these that somebody was selling at a, at a garage sale. In order to make this work as a propeller, I need to drill holes in here because what winds up happening is I put short dowels in the holes that I drill into it. And you can use other things, by the way. I mean, I've used like the center spoke or center hub things from, you know, Tinker Toy sets, if you can find old Tinker Toy sets too. But those wind up being large and not for every size airship. I mean, I, I do smaller ships, so I need a little bit smaller wheel. And this is a larger size. I actually have uh, some smaller ones too that I use that are, you know, quite a bit uh, smaller. And then as you can see in the one that's the same size as this one, I've drilled holes in there. And I do that just using a, a, a jig that holds the, the piece nice and, and perpendicular. And then I use a drill press to to drill the holes in there so that they're nice and straight and and even and then as you can see I, I go in and stain it afterwards whether it's the big ones you know or the or the smaller ones here um, you can do that however you want with regards to how many particular uh, spokes that propeller is going to have or blades if you want to call it that this little one I just did six in the uh, larger one I did eight um, that's usually um, the two that I oscillate between is six or eight. I have done four. Uh, they don't look quite as nice. But anyway, so I start with that, like I say, drill holes in it and then um, stain them. And then here are some examples of some of the blades that I use. And you can see that these have a, a longer shape, whereas these are kind of, you know, offset just for a little bit of interest. And this is... I, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's like a, like a, I don't know, quarter, and it's not a quarter inch, it might, might be more like five thirty seconds dowel, but that all depends on what size hole you drill and what you want to do. And then these are actually cut pieces of repurposed Venetian blind slat. So, you know, going right along with what I always do, which is to, you know, reuse and repurpose things that I find. I'm trying to use things that I find. So, I, like I said, I cut these pieces out of there and I kind of, you know, give them a little bit of color just to give them a little bit of character and patina. And then when I get done with those, then of course, I won't be able to do this and hold this, but these, these get stuck into the into the holes and then you know I kind of turn them to to put them at the right pitch um, if the hole is is too big then you know I'll figure out a way of thickening that up sometimes just with a wrap or two of um, masking tape or, or something else and then I and then I glue those in most often with uh, with wood glue and uh, I pretty much just kind of eyeball and see what the what the angle on them was going to be, so that they all match. And then, you know, when they dry, you've got a you've got a nice uh, spoked looking propeller. So that's really what I wanted to go through and show quickly. It really isn't uh, extraordinarily difficult. It takes a little bit of uh, planning and practice, but otherwise you can make propellers of all different sizes and configurations if you have kind of the simple components. So this is uh, Art Smith Craftworks uh, signing off, Stefan Smith. Um, 
sorry it's been so long since I took uh, a video, but I'll try to I'll try to get some more posted here soon. Have a good one. Thanks.